Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic and in today's video we're going to be looking at the Power Query Editor and specifically how to merge queries or uh, rather putting it in plain language how to join tables uh, in the Power Query Editor. So let's dive right into the demo. So what that basically means um, when we say merge queries or join tables is that in, uh, normal, in the normal relational database way of doing things uh, we store data pertaining to different entities in different tables and we connect these tables using specific columns which have relations um, between them so that we can connect these tables right so most of you coming from a data background probably understand what I'm saying and so I can dive right into the demo if you want to know more about relationships in RDBMS just um, uh, Google it there's some great resources especially W3 schools and stuff they've got some great um, uh, resources about uh, these topics but diving into the demo you can see I've got two tables or queries as they are known in the power query at the, uh, the customers and invoices so invoices has some invoice details for this mock um, e-commerce company whose data we're working with and customers just has the customer details of each customer in the in this company's database right so uh, invoices each line is probably an order and since we don't want to store all the customers specific details also in the invoice table to save space which is basically the rdbms approach we have one column customer id which links our invoice table to the customers table so we have this customer id column in the customers table which points to all these details about our customer which are very granular details and we've also got um, this invoice table which has all data about invoices but just this one or two uh, details about the customer and we can link these two tables with the customer ID so uh, how we do that is we select this customer ID column in any one of the tables and then we just hit merge queries and then that gives us two options merge queries or merge queries as new so if we merge queries basically what happens is the uh, since we are in the invoices table now the customers table data will be brought into the invoice table but if you click merge queries as new both the tables that we're joining will be created and merged in a new table which will uh, appear as a third table or third query in this power query editor so let's click merge query as new just to see how that works and we get this merge wizard and it's shown us the first table which we want to join which is invoices and then we can also join that to customers all right and then after we select both the tables that we want to join we just have to specify which column we want to join them based on or which columns in these tables have a relationship so it's obviously the custom id table and then we can choose the join kind also i'm using the left outer which is the most basic join and uh, if you want to know more about joins you can just uh, google sql joins i'm guessing most of you know this stuff already but you can google sql joins to find out a little bit more about the topic and yeah it, the wizard tells us that we've got um, all the rows from the invoice table matching or all the custom ids in the invoice table point to some customer in the customers table so we can click ok and then we should get this new table where since we had chosen the inverse invoices table first we first get all the invoices table invoices columns and then at the end we get this customers table linked to that particular invoice all right so these this customers which has been aggregated in this in the form of this link will be the customers details pertaining to this invoices customer id right so we can go to the right and just expand this table select all columns just for the sake of this demo and when we hit that we can see that we get all this customers granular details as well which we didn't want to store repetitively in this table as well to save space since it's already being stored in the customers table so if you've learned about normalization and all that, you know why we do this relationship uh, building and splitting data into separate tables and stuff. But this is how we merge tables or joined, merged queries or joined tables in the Power Query Editor. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell icon. And we'll see you guys in the next one.